Yeah, boss fight's still coming up. I think you can skip that season to, to Vanilla. No, you better be able to. What's going on? Hi. Here we go. Have you been a good boy? Show yourself. <laughs> said you said you are Mr. Fairway. Oh. It sounds like you haven't. Sora. Roxas. Roxas? Hey, did he just call me Roxas? You really I mean, not rocks this. <laughs> in a pickle. Ugh. I guess that must be why the Keyblade chose you. I like Zibra as a character though, he's fun. Did it pick a dud this time? He just like completely you trolls don't look like everyone. You're half the hero the others were. Are you done rambling? Rambling. As if. All I'm trying to tell you, traitor, is that your time is up. <laughs> Here he comes! Went. Alright. Here we go! This might be a little bit messy because I don't know if I have the right setup, but we'll. S uh, let's just roll with it. Zigbar plays like, really like, like, like a sniper or nobody, kind of. Yeah. Just. It's much more advanced. A lot more aggressive. Oh. Okay. You always play by doing a sniper mode. Just keep walking around a little bit until. And yeah. Once the main shot goes off, you do a reaction command. Yeah. Once you do that, he'll come down. Yeah. Now, now the real pain part is that. If you, you're kind of like an advanced version of the break slide as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he moves around a lot. He changes the arena quite frequently, and this. Yeah, it's a lot to just. Be focusing on. You know, you know, no matter where you're shooting, the shot can come from anywhere. Yeah, listen out for his uh, audio cues because uh, when he says reload, that's when you can have a chance. He doesn't that's do that in the data fight though. He, oh, oh, okay. is, that the only, is, that the only, is that the only thing that's really different? I think so. He doesn't reload in the data fight. Or if he does, he doesn't say anything. Oh, they, those big shots are his warp snipes. Yeah. yeah. This may seem kind of cool right now, but once he gets low on health, he starts going nuts. Yeah. Oh, this. I thought it was going into his uh, limit. Right, I'm gonna. Yeah. No, this is it... not in the best situation because I don't have enough to do final form or any limit or any drive rather. Give a fight without that... it, but oh, he's the limit break. Okay, this might be bad. This part right here is the hurt. Get down, get down. Wait, now he's doing it. Alright. Donald, think... if you can't do with that, it's gonna hurt. Yeah. It, uh, it's also now. It's also around here where he starts to go nuts. Where he really goes nuts after this first one. Yeah. Hit. I like doing um. Uh. Yeah, I like using this limit because it it usually does quite a bit of damage on it on this guy. Cyber mode again. Yep. This is the yeah. same though. This is th this move itself isn't that bad. Yeah. Okay. But like, yeah, at this point he just becomes obnoxiously annoying. Yeah. Yeah. But like, this is that part of the game when they're really becoming a lot more aggressive. Cause like, I, I had I had a lot of trouble on Cyax my first go. I was just getting pummeled by everything. Start of where just masturbation Yeah. But, like, you're making heavy. Yeah. Like, because, like, if it wasn't a rock, this would be the first guy. This would be the first boss to fly on right away here. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, it just like seems to just like it's, you, you just like want to try and walk around it like you did with um, what's this some moves. Ah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh come on. Nice. And I don't like them to Yeah, that was alright. Damn in my arm. <laughs> he broke my arm. Why did you call me Roxas? <laughs> it's fuck you. Know? Hey, hold on. That's what I I do like the final design. Kind of, I mean. Yeah. That's how I like. For the, for the patterns on it, really. Yeah. Uh oh. Like, I also. If I'm right, the sleeves and the pant legs are a little bigger on it, which is why they're a little flat. Gee, I wonder if Riku will ever change back. Like, what? I'm, chose that form I just like so to use the power so, of the uh, easy. Right. I mean, like, it's supposed to be based off the no bias scheme, if I'm yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, it, it seems to be having that kind of Kyrie, deal. We're on our way. The same color it scheme. Really, it really shows, like, Roxists. Oh, there's number three. There's fun. Yeah, we finally have to add some report for you. Um. Oh. I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> oh goodness! <laughs> All right then. Next one. Oh, by the way, wait. I just remember something. At this, at this point, um, I think the no yeah, look, the nobodies. Oh yeah, they're done. It, 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 now it has the sorcerer and the twilight form from the start of the game. Yeah. Look at me dance. <laughs> Why am I here? How did... I wonder, like, how Jiminy even, like, put that in, like, just randomly appears in there. Maybe, 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 sort, maybe Rock's journal somehow got mixed in. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a thing. Oh, I All right, then, oh, I think we oh, sure read. Huh? Because I, I think I'm doing even numbers and you're doing the odd numbers. Alright. Go ahead. Chaos affects not only this world, but many other worlds besides. In the Ansem reports, my apprentice Sayanot had written under my name. I found records of his hideous experiments along with his hypothesis about the door that had appeared out of the darkness in my basement. Oh no. All living things have hearts, and all hearts hold darkness deep within. Well, to no exception, if a world is a being, the heart it holds must be colossal, and the darkness at its core must be monstrous indeed. Did Zay not pass through that door in, a in, a uh, in an attempt to contact that dark realm? No, not only Zay not. It appears my other five apprentices, believing it was for the sake of research, stared deep into the darkness and were pulled into it. Evan, Ienzo, Bray, Dylan, and Alias, I think, I don't know. They have ceased. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what Ansem wrote. <laughs> An alias, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think that's how you say the name. I don't know. They have ceased to be Whatever, human. I call it out. I <laughs> we'll, we'll translate. <laughs> I too have had everything taken away from me, banished to a hollow realm of nothingness. What is there not hoping to gain with my pilfered existence? Will my people cease to smile? If the light of hope has been extinguished, I shall henceforth walk with darkness as a friend. Here in the realm of nothingness to which I have been relegated, darkness in the midst of nothing, darkness in zero, thus I shall be known as Diz. 
discarding the stolen name Ansem and going and see going in search of revenge. It going in season my revenge. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit though it's kind of weird doing these without all of them, but. Mm. But whatever, it, your LP, we'll do it the way. Well, I mean, like, I'm do I'm just doing it as we get the numbered ones, because like, when we have, like, all of them and do it in one go, it kind of takes a while. Oh. Uh, but this and they spend that beautiful paradise are an illusion to me now. How long have I been here? Banished to the realm of nothingness. It is only by relying upon my anger and hatred that I have been able to retain my sense of self here, where all existence is nullified. My heart is being overcome with hatred towards my apprentices, Possessed by the darkness, and with the anger I feel for stupidly allowing myself to be betrayed. And this darkness, sorry, is this darkness eating away at my heart? I cannot continue to idle away my time here. What is Z What are Xehanor and the others attempting to do? I must unravel the mysteries of these Ansem reports, intercept my apprentices, and defeat them. That is my mission, the only way to repay the world for my sins. Those beings who lack hearts, the heartless must be the key but darkness of the heart made flesh cursed shadows who not only lack hearts but multiply by seizing hearts from all living things where have they come from and where are they going <coughs> sorry i don't think three mm. <sighs> elements combine to create life a heart a soul and a body but what of the soul but what of the soul and body left behind when the heart is lost when the soul leaves the body, its vessel, life gives way to death. But what about when the heart leaves? A being does not perish when its heart alone leaves its body. The heart alone disappears into the darkness. There is little time. If I remain in this realm much longer, I will certainly learn these answers the hard way. My darkness, my heart is already a captive of the heart. Uh, <laughs> the, almost, the first time I almost said my darkness is already a captive of the heart. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Okay, no, it's, it's fine, it's fine. My dark, my heart is already captive of the darkness. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, like, it, saying, like, um, was it the... There's a difference between, like, turning into a heartless and, like, flat out dying. Right. Like, having your heart, like, stolen between having it stop, if you will. Yeah, pretty much. In this realm, where all existence has been disintegrated, I have just barely managed to preserve my sense of self by continuing to think and to write. It is a place where even time has lost all meaning. Eternity as, is as but a moment here. By the way, huh? you know this reminds me slightly with that... In, um, in South Park Mystic Truth, when you get onto the alien spaceship, all you, you hear these pointless like recordings from a hobo, and he's even <laughs> blamed and he's like, he's like, There's nothing here, just pointless audio tapes! <laughs> yeah, I think you showed me that. Like, you were streaming it at one point. Oh, yeah. I must make haste. Certainly their plans are already underway. The Heartless must be the key to unraveling this mystery. The six traitors were operating a laboratory that churned out those cursed shadows. Not only did they generate pure blood Heartless from living hearts, but they then used those Heartless to synthesize artificial versions of the creatures as well. <clears throat> These sim synthetic heartless bore insignias and were called emblems. Pure blood or emblem, these heartless act only to fulfill their instinctive needs. They're single -mindedly de they single-mindedly detect hearts and swarm around them. A human's commands would be ineffective. The heartless would easily steal the human's heart and use it to increase their own ranks. But what if an even stronger heartless was giving the orders? If he cast aside his own soul and body and became a heartless, wouldn't he be able to control the otherwise intractable Heartless? Furthermore, wouldn't he be planning to make use of the creature's instincts? If the heart-seeking Heartless have their sights set on a larger, more powerful heart, their ultimate goal is crystal clear. The largest heart in existence, the heart of the world. This is all conjecture, but it would seem he is utilizing the Heartless in his search for a path leading to the heart of the world. God damn it, Andy! <laughs> what the hell? Well, I made that joke again. <laughs> oh boy. Also, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Something else. I was gonna say something about else about the fifth report. Can you go back to the bottom of the fifth one? Mm -hmm. Uh. Um. Let me see. Uh. Scroll up a little bit more. Oh yeah. Um. I just thought of something. It's like um. Becoming a heartless to control the heartless. Does what did what did that mean exactly? Like. 
Wait, how, did he do the? Did Xehanort do the thing where it's like how he went into Terra to become Ansem the Seeker of Darkness? No, well, not exactly. What I understand is that, like, uh, Zerno went into Terra, then, like, he presumably lost his memory in, like, Radiant Garden and all that. And then, like, to pursue his, um... Like, uh, in that, like, one, one cut scene, like, during the flashback in the Thousand Heartless, that was Terra Zerno. Um, but, like, at, at a certain point, he basically... <laughs> He basically uh, removed like removed his heart as well as the other members to like just further pursue the the studies and all that, and then he became yeah. Ansem and Zemnus. Well, no, I mean like how did he, did he release his own heart by doing like stabbing himself again? I mean, I assume so because that's how it that that's how he seems to have done it with the other other guys. Well, because like here, here's my problem. Here's my here's my question. Because like I'm thinking back in Birth by Sleep when um when Master Xehanort did that. To be, how did he just go straight to Terra? Mm. Compared to like when Sora stabbed himself, he became a heartless. It might. It's probably the fact like the whole like um okay let's okay. Uh, make you really angry uh get your darkness like out because. I use darkness as well, and if you have that same thing, I can, like, just put my heart into you. I, I guess because I was with, with Sora though, like he didn't really, he he didn't really have an opportunity to really do something like that in the first place, and he probably doesn't even know that's an ability. Yeah, another thing, yeah, probably because like what you said though, like how Xehanort probably did it was because of his mastery of the darkness. Yeah, and he 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 kn he knows like a lot of. Like he he's an old man at that point, so he he knows a lot of stuff about this, and it's like I I even if Sora knew he could do that, I don't think he he'd do that in the first place because that's not the kind of guy Sora is. Right, All right then but, next one. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> My choice to befriend darkness here in the midst of nothingness was a sound one. The moment I stared straight ahead with a calm heart. Never rejecting darkness nor fearing it, I gained the newfound power. A superhuman power. The power of darkness. It is likely Xehanort and the others were enraptured by its power, eventually becoming its prisoners. I do not intend to allow my heart to be devoured by the darkness as they did, of course. With this new power, I uncovered a corridor of darkness that cr connects the realm of nothingness to the outside world. While it is still difficult to come and go as I please, my banishment is now a thing of the past. To disease to seize Xehanort and my apprentices, I first used my power to change form before returning to the realm of light. As I suspected, Xehanort has be had become a heartless. <clears throat> Under my name, he commanded other heartless in quests to snatch away the hearts of many different worlds. At the center of the hearts Xehanort had stolen was Kingdom Hearts, which attracts tremendous darkness to itself and attempts to send any and all matter back to into its depths. The other five had disappeared. Have they become heartless like Xehanort? Or did they vanish after Xehanort exploited them? I became familiar with an unusual entity while pursuing the truth. It is the soul and body that remains when a being loses its heart. When a heartless is born, these entities appear from the realm of light to be re reborn as an entirely new beings in a completely different realm. Hmm. We're getting forever into the nobodies. Yeah. While beings born of darkness and those l lacking hearts may find them convenient, it is dangerous for others to make much use of the corridors of darkness. Darkness erodes the heart. In search of a place to proceed with my research and pan planning away from prying eyes, I found myself in Twilight Town. It is a quiet village, forgotten in the chasm between light and darkness. I situated myself in the basement of an abandoned mansion standing beyond the woods. My underground research resulted in one new discovery after another. When a heartless is born, the body and soul left behind are reborn into this world as a different being. They possess different intentions than the heartless brethren, and while it is unclear what these sentient things are after, it would it would appear that it would appear they are responsible for much bedlam in the world. <laughs> never heard that. I don't know what bedlam means. <laughs> I, I've never even seen that word before. <laughs> um, 
Hold uh, on, let me look it up really quickly. Bedlam. <laughs> Bedlam? <laughs> Sounds funny. A scene of uproar and confusion. Huh? A scene of uproar and confusion. Okay, yeah, that it's, makes sense. It basically means, like, anarchy. Yeah. My erstwhile friend, the king, and his subjects, along with a hero wielding the Keyblade, are battling the Heartless even as a new threat approaches. This new threat, they have given themselves a fitting name, I suppose. These non-beings, nobodies. A great number of nobodies have lost human form, as have the Heartless. Yet the nobody born of someone with a strong heart retains its shape with but the faintest visible changes. Like Lee's eye, like, like the eye paint on an axel. Yeah. It appears my betrayers have retained their human forms as nobodies, and are gathering more followers in hopes of furthering a new scheme. Organization 13. Formed <laughs> of 13 nobodies, with my betrayers at its core, has divided into two. They are said to be carrying out some sort of research. Seeking We're in that place. <laughs> Seeking to uncover the plans of this organization, I have decided to head for where six of its members have gathered, towering over the outer limits of the realm between darkness and light. Castle Oblivion! Dun, dun, dun. I, I think this is the last one we have for now, so we I can keep going. Yeah. I think, yeah, are we missing nine? Yeah, we need yep. nine. Yep, the last one for now. It appears that I have been too distracted by the behavior of Xehanort and his cohorts, and by the events occurring in their vicinity. A friend struggled to protect the realm of light from the threat of the Heartless is now over. With Xehanort's Heartless, going by the name Ansem Seeker of Darkness, defeated at last. The other wielder of the Keyblade, this hero, traveled from world to world, sealing up keyholes and laying Heartless low. Meanwhile, the King, who had dived into the realm of darkness, worked with the Keyblade wielding hero to close the door to Kingdom Hearts from in the realms of both darkness and light was holding off the threat of tremendous darkness. But there are still a great number of Heartless afoot. An organization, the team. And nobody <laughs> can continue to be active in the shadows. Damn it, Jerry, you've completely ruined this! <laughs> I was gonna say Zed is an organization for team. <laughs> Indeed, the world is still a very dangerous place. We must find a way to do battle with these enemies. Plus, I will make new amends and have my revenge. Again, <laughs> it is for this reason that I have infiltrated Castle Oblivion. It consists of 13 floors above and 12 floors below ground, with the contents of its white rooms transforming in response to its visitors' memories. Organization 13 was conducting experiments on memory here. I guess it's like, like the stuff like the um the warp portals uh, and all that. Yeah. We're like, yeah, like, or like how we like we're going from card with the cards and all that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do, like use the cards to actually go through the area, I guess. The subject in these experiments, a girl named Namine, appeared to possess extremely unusual abilities. Were they attempting to derive something from these powers? Refusing to be distracted by organization of the team, <laughs> I had returned to my own secret research of a new visitor. When when a new visitor appeared at the castle today, it was Sora. The keyblade wielding hero who had defeated Ansem and his companions. Deep in the ground, the stench of darkness arose. All the players are coming together, it would seem. Uh, okay, then. Moving on. Now, right. let's move. Oh, let's Kirby's out. Oh, yeah, yeah I think it's like so Roxas now. We got Riku. Oh, I took this picture even though I can't see him. Yeah, that's how cool I am. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I'm in eight. Depends on the wise. Hi. Yeah. That's it. Now I have a proper entry. Yep. Oh, yeah. Go back. Wait, what? A little, a little more. Look, Xehanort, Organization 13. <laughs> Zen organization 13. What the hell? <laughs> oh, it's I, just I, I those. It, it's their, it's their, clo it's their cloak. No, that that entry. is so weird. <laughs> Looking at that, though, like... I took a picture of Axel, actually. Yeah. He looks like a lion. 
Prove it to be an odd duck. That's a funny way of saying it. <laughs> Wait. Ah, damn it! <laughs> yeah, God damn it. Um, is that it? Pen okay, Roxas. Roxas. Yep. Number 13. <laughs> Actually, look at his model. That looks very much like his day's pose. Yeah. Actually, yeah, if you put the keyboard in his right hand, it looks just like it was on the cover art. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Right, town. This is gonna be the same. Adam, you ever rock this version? Oh, it's a different uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like rising and food and eggs, the names of the. Yeah, no. Uh, 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 Zigbar? Yep. Now he's dead. It's the same. Mickey. I'm not hiding money. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's like being all coy about it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, oh, I'm wise. <laughs> <laughs> Not the organization thirteen. I guess I'm more heartless. I'm just looking at this, like really puts in, into perspective how many enemies are in it, actually in the game. Oh, this asshole! Oh right, wait, make. Keep he's the one. He's the one it. in the tower. <laughs> Keep attacking to his dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, it would be funny if like it's like they hate it as well, and you just like J murder it, murder it. <laughs> uh, we're missing a chip. Oh no, are we? That, that's just continuing the world. Um, All these pets just in our path. That's uh, Captain of Rems, probably. I don't know what that is. Well, wait. What's that one on the right? Uh. No, last one in White Town. This one? Or like... Okay, we may have missed it between, um, a certain point. Yeah, I had a feeling. Oh, I think I know where it is. Hmm. Puzzle pieces. Ooh, almost there. Oh! Five more. <laughs> Quite a lot. Ooh. It's like a big jumbly mess. It's gonna be like a full part of just putting that in, in the... Probably. Yeah, just assume this. Uh, we can probably do, uh, well, post do we need to get, like... Uh, junk sweep might be possible. Mm. I think we should wait for negative combo, wait. Challenge number seven to wait. Oh yeah, now, now seven in, alright, is out. Right. We got most of them done, so it's just basically clean up at this point. Yeah, we can probably just save them all for like the like, around the end. Yeah, but yeah, like like I said um, before, it's it, it's best to do as much as you can as you're going through the main story. So when you do have to do the rest of it, it doesn't feel as much of a, like much of a, as much of a chore. Oh, it's more. No, it's dumb. It's adult. I just keep going to the paragraphs over until it stops saying new. Yeah, another Let's world. <laughs> no. I'm sleeping, do you mind? Oh. Okay, yes. let me look at that again. That is interesting, because there's not even, like, any text. Did he- that- yeah, like, did that just come from Roxas? It must have been, like... Is it- hmm. It's weird. Blah blah blah. Right, yeah, there we go. All right, we're good. Now let me actually properly customize this. The next boss is Luxord, right? I think I think so. Yeah, I think it's Luxord and Syx. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, if that's the case, Blizzard makes more sense against that guy because uh, I don't. I think Thunder's gonna have a harder, much harder time hitting him, to be honest. You don't really like the Luxor fight, fight, do you? Uh, the normal one is fine. Um, 
but the like, is the data one I don't I I'm kind of I don't I'm not a fan the of. One, it change your time faster, doesn't it? Yeah, and it, it goes on for a while, and I'm yeah I, I don't know. We'll talk about that later. It's not right. relevant now. Abilities. Uh, this should be fine. Let's double check. Like, nowadays, Psyx isn't that bad. So, yeah, Psyx I can deal with, but like, you know, for, first time you might be a bit overwhelmed because of how fast he moves and how, like, just uh, it goes all over the place, really. Mm. But, you know, it's a fun fight. Final might be good here since there's a lot of enemies. Yeah, this is a pretty good grinding spot. Until you get the Berserkers. Yeah. And I'll say this. Unless I see, I see that up there. I saw the puzzle piece too, but we're not getting that like, uh, proper glide. Yeah. Twilight Peaceful Stone. Gen. The small guy should be around here alive, I'm correctly. Either that or they don't appear until uh, later. Yeah, hurry to the next room, hurry. <laughs> Yeah, we have a little glide in final, but it doesn't. It's not too great yet. Once we hit the final one, we pretty much just literally hover above the ground. <laughs> yeah. I get fire ready for these guys. Yeah, I suppose. Oh my goodness, that did a lot more than I thought it would. The fire? Yeah. That's the power of bond of flame. Okay. Auto final. Useless. Useless. Oh, so, <laughs> screw this. Wait, you had a thing. Is that a dent? Dent's Christmas. Uh, we're not gonna make it. Well, maybe? Yes. I thought you were going for the puzzle piece. I was trying to, but like. I. I was like, ch seeing if I could do that while going back. At the same time, so like, might as well. Right. Now, now we can probably grab the treasure chest and I don't have to worry about a little timer. Yeah. Boop. Or a calcum. Or a calcum. AP boost. Cool crystal. Oh, Mr. Crystal. Remember, the guy's still up here. Yeah. Oh, uh, before we spawn you, <laughs> the next one 22. Nice. Get right. I love fire. Yeah. <laughs> Final fire just destroys and center hates. Yeah. His magic in general in this film is just really good. Hearts. Like the the blizzard finisher, I think, just lets out like a barrage of attacks. We love you. <laughs> Share your energy with me, everybody. Oh, goodness. Yes. Kingdom Hearts. My favorite Rejoice game in the series. And feast mm. on these hearts we all have. Oh, never mind. You see, um, Xehanort is a good villain. Hey, light on this empty room. Or Anthem is first. Then this is a good Share villain. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. With all nobody. We have hearts. What? Because darkness. Yeah. Fuck you. Kingdom Hearts ready. Yes, it will be released in in Europe next year. And I can end this charade. <laughs> and I will reap all the all the money from Mickey. Indeed. How I've waited to hear that. Now I can go water my plants. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we've had those weapons for a while. Oh? Hmm. <laughs> Hi. You are different, Kyrie, but I'm just glad you're here. Yes. You and me. Yeah, and, like home. looking at this, it really so reminds me of like how we saw that cutscene with like Sora dancing with the younger Kyrie. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kyrie. I'm. Oh, also, watch how big his hands are. <laughs> 
Like, goodness. I mean, it's, like, it, it's literally like you're getting grabbed by like Shrek. <laughs> Hi. Goodbye. Wait, handsome. I mean, Xehanort's heartless. Huh. I never thought for a second that I'd ever see you again. Just thinking about all the things you did makes me really mad. But. Well, I'm acting. <laughs> But you saved Kyrie, right? I have to be grateful for that. Thanks. You, you saved her in her default face. <laughs> Riku, don't go. Huh? Riku? Oh. Huh. Kyrie. Oh. What did you just say? <laughs> Donald. Riku. I'm no one, just a castaway from the darkness. Sora, come here. Say something to him. Something? <laughs> Here. You'll understand. All for one, one for all. Hey, yeah, look seriously, his hand, their hands are so much bigger than Kyrie. <laughs> hey, were, were Aqua's that small? I don't remember. Rather, were Ventus's and Hera's that big? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. It is nice seeing them all together again, at least. Yeah. Even if Riku's not got the end himself right now. Riku. Yeah. It's Riku. Riku's here. I bow to you. you. Goodness. Come on, Sora. We've got to pull it together. Plus a million yaoi's were born. Everywhere for Goodness. You. Why? I didn't want you to find me. He cried. But it was him <laughs> that was helping us, wasn't it? <laughs> Said you Who's beat your ass that? in Land of Dragons. That must <laughs> have been Riku. I was starting to worry you guys weren't ever going to catch on. Sword I wonder who's going out of voice. What? Friends. What do you mean by that? Why didn't you let me know you were okay? I told you. Because you won't change your default face. I didn't want to be found. <laughs> Not like this. I couldn't. I fought with Ansem, with Xanort's Heartless. When it invaded my heart and I won. But to use the power of darkness, I had to become Ansem myself. Does that mean you can't change back? This battle isn't over. And until it is. So I weird with the default face. Yeah. Then. Because Riku's voice. Yeah. You're still Riku <laughs> no matter what. Sorry. Almost was done a thing. So how about it? Think we can handle one last rumble together? The king's waiting. Yeah. Let's get going. Let's get, let's get moving. <laughs> Ooh, and now we have the, uh, and now we have which has drive, which has drive uh, charge. I think it is. Right. Let's take a look at its stats. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's just a, oh, it's decent. Get drive boost. Oh wait. He restores. Yeah, it increases, how, it increases how much drive you get. I'm actually wanting that. It, it, it was also just a cool blade. Yeah. I do like how, like, um, pretty much Oblivion and Oathkeeper are also a pair of keyblades that are that you make you think of Sora. Yeah. Granted, they're nowadays. I mainly so we we mainly associate them with Roxas. Right. Let's get down to fight and fight. So good. Yeah. Quack, 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 quack. I'm gonna get doing that from now on. That's uh, funny. Uh. Like they have. We're almost out of here. 
got some more cutscenes. Maybe one of the cutscenes this world would actually Just be kind of short. To do. Yeah. But end game stuff. So. Yeah, I gotta get all the. Uh, go wrap up everything. What's this gadget for? It's a device. Okay, fine. Kingdom Hearts and encoded. I just data. found it. Not sure I get it. I'm gonna destroy I Kingdom Hearts from my machine. The outcome of this venture either. After all, I'll destroy Zemnis's only copy of the game that remains. <laughs> How much? I'll try and complete Jiminy's journal now. <laughs> 1.5 HD remix? Ha! 